brothers, 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 don't use this tragedy as a racial issue or bashing black women to my brothers out here that got YouTube channels and saying, see, that's what happens. That's She divested. She wanted to mess with her. You know, some, and I heard some, just some trifling comments. That's what she get and all this. Let me tell you something. You don't know that woman personally. You don't know how she was raised. Nothing. You don't know the origin of her background. Nothing. Y'all that's going on here saying news. And now y'all trying to put it into this ongoing legacy that's been going on on motherfucking YouTube when it comes to black folks hating on black folks as far as the opposite sex. It's a damn shame. Let the woman, let the family mourn. It's it's it's, it's so tragic the way she the way she died. No one should have to die like that, a body be messed over like that. But it happened, and it's so sad. You know, angry, frustrated. Hell yeah, as a black man, I'm mad as a motherfucker. What, what that guy done to that sister. Beyond mad. Okay? That shit hurt. Not even my relative. Now my, there's still, she's, 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 a, she's a child of the sun. She's a melanated queen. And her family got to mourn. Mourn for a long time. And I hope she get her proper, proper, I'm praying she get her proper burial. But let's get back to the insanity. Show some respect, y'all. Why are y'all trying to fit that into the narrative and into the uh, main idea when it comes to y'all commentary? What in the fuck that got to do with this gender war shit? Let me tell you something. It's mass murderers that haven't been apprehended yet. You do know how many psychopaths are out here? Get a clue. Now, for self-awareness, women of all ethnicities, stop this internet dating. This is bullshit. Half of those people behind that, them avatars, you don't know. That's why you take a risk. Sometimes it can be bliss, but the majority of the time they frost, they frosters, they frauds, they scammers, the con artists and shit, and mass murderers and rapists and child murderers, all kind of diabolical shit. They get uh, nut cases get on the internet too, and frequent the internet too. Pervert, pervert slash murderers, yes. Let's throw the cards on the table. Stop jumping into these relationships and thinking it's going to be voila. You know, I didn't hear comments like, you know, I'm infuriated with some of these comments I've been hearing. You know, that's some. Stop putting all black women in the gummo pot. Stop doing that shit. All black women ain't like that. Some black women are looking for genuine love. And don't matter what kind of ethnicity they get it from, they just want love. Some do, and a lot do. All this, well, you know, half of these black women, they think, they think, they think Tom and Bill is better. They grass is greener. I, they think we're a bunch of dusties. They think we're a bunch of immature. They think this, they think that. Let them think that. Is that you? Now, the ones that's hurting, it's nine times out of ten. It's you. I pay those. I pay these 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 floozies, these skanks. That's what they are to me. On YouTube, no mind when they talk about black men as a whole as being uh, uncivilized and and um and just totally out of it. Okay, so you're talking about your father because you're black. You're not in a, you're not mixed. So if you got a black dad and a black mom, you talking about your dad. So you you try you try to talk about black man. Does it say how retarded that shit is? You talking about your 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 your, your biological dad? 
that procre- that procreated with your mom to bring forth you as a female. And then you got another turn around and talk about men and general and put us all in a in gen- generalization as black men as 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 uh just just savages and shit. But so you talking about your father. So think about that when you talk about a a, a black fo- black man and you had a father that loved you as a daughter and treated you well and didn't abuse you, didn't abuse your mom, done the right things as a man. So think about that before you utter that in your mouth, especially if you got a black dad that was a good dad. Look, all black men, yeah, I can agree. Not all black men. That's why I disagree. Let, let me say that again. All black men ain't like that. Okay? You got some, not all. Some, not all, some, not all. All black men are not trifling like that. But there's a whole lot that is. Then, ladies, you got to ask yourself, yeah. But this this is not on y'all. Today, this is focusing on that sister that, you know, died, unfortunately, to that tragic incident and, and horrific crime that took place when it came to her messing with this guy. Now, I heard she didn't take him to the house. She just went on a date with him, went straight to the house. That's what I heard. Now, females, don't you, don't do that. Learn from this. That cost her, that was a costly mistake that cost her, unfortunately cost her life. Learn from this. You are not to just, someone meet you, you're not just to jump up, hop. You got to take time to investigate a person. Well, I've done videos about this, talking about you got to investigate your mate. Give her some time. They rush, rush, rush. They trying to do this. And there's something wrong to that picture. Why are they so in a hurry? Now, do you want to get a man for a relationship? Or you just want to get him for what's downstairs? Now, if you like that, you already... Society going to call. Society going to you know they going to describe you as something else, a woman of the night, a, you know a prostitute. Because there's no repertoire, there's no conversation, there's no it's nothing about anything about intellectual intellectual talk. It's nothing about dating, and, and, and maybe we can take this further down the line. It's not it's no meeting the parents or nothing like that. Now if it's just for that, you already you for the streets and you're putting yourself out there. You liable to get killed. Or anything, get a train ran on you. Anything. That's the times we living in. If you're just seeking sex, well, there lies a problem. It's not about love and relationship and camaraderie. It's about strictly bam, bam, bam. All I can do is pray for sisters like that, because that's all they want to do without no strings attached. But unfortunately, it is strings attached when it's dealing with the opposite sex, which is the man. You don't know what that man got on his mind or got got a got in store for you. You're just taking a chance and you're taking a, a serious chance that can, that can, yeah, end up like, unfortunately, that female ended up like. You come across, it's it's not just, just a, a unique few of those men. There's a whole bunch of them. And they don't have to be white. How many crime shows y'all have watched or documentaries you have watched? Hey, there's a lot of black mass murderers out here. Men that rape and kill too. That's black men. I mean, black men that rape and kill. Women. That's black men. Excuse me. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of, it's a whole bunch of, it's, it's, it's more than enough black men out here doing that too. Italian men, Indian men, Chinese, Asian, whoever. All different uh, 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 south of the border. It's all ethnicities that have that germ when it comes to uh, torturing and murdering women. Don't have to be just Anglo-Saxon. No. So stop, stop putting, stop putting this shit in one category. If you want to talk about one, talk about all, and it doesn't matter because every in the four corners of the world you have psychopaths that are men of different description, different race, different ethnicity. 
that have that disease. When it comes to rape, when it comes to murder, when it comes to dismemory, when it comes to torture of women and trafficking women. Stop putting shit and marginalizing stuff. Now, all this divesting and all this bullshit y'all talking about, again, it's bullshit. My thing is this. This is to, this is to the women. Get yourself right if you ain't right. Stop selling yourself short. Take time to investigate. Stop rushing into these relationships. Stop taking all that. Yeah, all that's just the, that's, that's the facade to try to get your ass in that bed or whatever. Is he talking anything financial? Is he talking about family? Is he talking about, first, is, 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 is the man talking about God? Now, I'm a religious guy. If that man ain't talking about no most high, if that man ain't talking about no scriptures, if that man ain't talking about living, living a holy life, what the hell do you expect at the end of the day? If we talking that ghetto mentality, talk, yeah, man, I'm just grinding, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, man, I, you know, I'm going out with the man's and all, yeah, I got to re-up, baby. I, I'll lace you up with the fine and things, wine and dine, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, just, 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 just feeding you a line, like like an old broken-down 70s pimp. It's feeding you shit to make you feel good. But you ain't saying no action being applied behind those goddamn words as a female. Okay? Sometimes you got to let that clock ride out to really get to know someone. And then you might never know that person anyway. But I'm saying, pay attention to the conversation, ladies. And stop messing with people on the internet. I, I don't care what other people say. Oh, don't listen to him. But no, do not. I don't care. That's me. Y'all can do what y'all want to do. But me, the internet dating shit, hell no. Hell no. Hell to the nine. If it's not in my environment, it's not in flesh. If I can't touch it, if I can't see it in the flesh, I'm looking over, I'm over some technology, wishing and hoping. No, there's too many women out here to be jumping on the internet. And same thing apply to you, women. What the, your knight in shining armor. You don't need to be, they all around you. In the flesh. But again, if that, uh, I got to bring it back down to Soulsville. If that man ain't talking about God, if he ain't talking about family, if he ain't talking about endurance and, and anything that got to do with a man supposed to be about when it comes to a female, if he ain't talking about that, why are you wasting your motherfucking time? And, and, and then y'all get on in there. Ain't no real men out here. There's some of y'all. Y'all say I want real men. Then y'all do the opposite. So when y'all do that, I have no sympathy for I have no feelings for that. Because when you don't come crying to me and you knew how that dude was, when he finally beat your ass, put his size 13 timbers up your ass, hurt your coochie, throw you out the house, call you all kinds of MFs and Bs, don't get mad at me because that's your fault. And some women are gluttony, are gluttony for punishment. And that's a mental problem. And some of them got a fetish like that. If you don't do that to them, they feel as though that you don't love them. Oh, then now they definitely gone. They gone. And they got a little bit of psychopath ways too themselves because something wrong with them. And I know me, myself speaking as a man, I don't want to come home to someone uh, bleeding out the lips, a uh, uh, swollen up face look like a goddamn cantaloupe. Been smacked around, beat around so much. You love me, do you? Love, I know you love me. Don't hurt me. Nah, 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 baby, you got to go. I ain't saying shit like that. I like I be damn. 
And I like, they both, one of them going to kill each other. And that eventually that happens. It's a shame. But to all y'all, y'all, y'all men that's on here using this, using this trashy asset, y'all need to stop that shit. Okay? They don't got nothing to do with them. And it looked like it, it do with it looked like it wasn't that guy's first rodeo. So he was a psychopath, either uh, it warmed off and came back to 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 get back into it, or he probably been doing it all along, or he he, he got caught slipping. And I'm glad he got caught slipping, and that's it. Cause that wasn't gonna be the first. I tell you that now. Once they it's usually when they get started on it, it's yeah, it, it, it's like a, it's like a thirst. They want to do some more. We they want to do some more. They want to do some more. And some of them get off when he purposely, deliberately done that because he wanted to see that in the news. He wanted to see his work. Okay. And who does that? You just don't get up in the morning and decide to dismember somebody. So this guy probably been, yeah, he just got caught. He probably been under the radar for who knows how long. You know, stop trusting in what men say, women. You better do your proper investigation. Because you might end up in a bad situation. And I'm telling you, you got to do your proper investigation on these dudes. Because they look like a way, because you, you don't know they soul. Looks are deceiving. I'm telling you, you never know someone until you know what's in their soul. Stop jumping to just stop jumping out there like that. You know, may she rest in peace. You know, may she rest in peace. May she rest up. You know, I can't even imagine how her, how her it's, it's devastating. It's you know, it's devastating. So, you know, I'm out. Don't still record. Uh, I'm gonna add some more to it. Yeah, let me get out of here.